Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create Microsoft account and local accounts in Windows 10. Now, first of all, if you need to take full advantage of Windows 10 features such as Microsoft Store for apps or OneDrive for online storage and synchronized settings between computers, you need to have a Microsoft account. Otherwise, you cannot download any apps from Microsoft Store or upload files to OneDrive. And if other people use your computer, then you may want to create more than one local account. And when each person who uses your computer has a separate user account, then you can keep your data, apps, and settings tidy and private. Now, it is also recommended to keep only one administrator account for each computer. So let me show you how to create a Microsoft account first. So I'll click on the start screen and I'll click on the user icon on the left side of the start screen and I'll click change account settings. Okay, the settings window opens up. You can see I have a local account and this local account is an administrator account. Now to create a Microsoft account, you have to click on this link which says sign in with Microsoft account instead. Okay, the sign in screen appears. To create a new account, click on create one. On the create account screen, you can create an account using an email address or a phone number. If you want to use a phone number, you can click this link which says use a phone number instead. Now, if you don't have an email address, you, you can create a new email address by clicking this link which says get a new email address. I already have an email address, so I will specify the email address. And I'll click Next. In the Create a Password box, I will type a password. You can see dots appear instead of what I type. And the password must be at least eight characters, including at least two uppercase letters, two numbers, or two symbols, and no spaces are allowed. Now, you need to type a password which is easy to remember for you, but not easy for someone else to guess, right? I will click Next. I will enter the first name and the last name of the account. In what is your birth date screen, you need to specify the country and the birth day. And by the way, I am creating an account for my daughter, Leah. So I will select the month, which is May, and the day, and the year. OK, I will click Next. On the Verify email screen, you need to type the code, which will be sent by Microsoft to the email address, which has been specified here. OK, we have received the code. And if I click on it, you can see the code here, 0759. I'll go back into the Microsoft account screen, and I will type the code. And I'll click Next. OK, the sign in to this computer using your Microsoft account screen appears. Here it says that you know the next time you sign in to this computer, it will use your Microsoft account password. And it is asking for the current Windows password for one last time. So I'm going to type the current Windows password of my local account, and I'll click Next. OK, so this is it. We have created a Microsoft account. And if I restart or log off from my computer, and I'm going to log back in, and you can see the computer is using the Microsoft account to log in. So I'm going to type the password, which we have set for this Microsoft account. OK, so this is how you create a Microsoft account. Next, I'm going to show you how to create a local account. So a local account is the ability to sign into your computer without using a Microsoft account. Now, before you create or sign in with a local account, it is recommended that you save your work. And then I'll click on the Start button, and I'll click on the User Account on the left side. 
and I'll click change account settings. Okay, the settings window will open up. Okay, so to create a local account, you have to click this link, which says sign in with a local account instead. And it will prompt you if you want to switch to a local account, I will click next. And I need to type the current user password of this Microsoft account and I'll click OK. All right. Now this time I am going to create an account for my son Daksh. I will enter a username and the password and retype the password again and a password hint which will help me to recover the password. Okay, I'll click next. All right, I will click sign out and finish. And it is going to prepare the local account. I will log back in and I can see the local account here. I will type the password which I had set for this local account and I'll press enter to log in. Okay, so this is how you create a local account. Now, if you want to switch from a local account to an existing Microsoft account, you just click on the start screen and select your user icon on the left side and click on change account settings again. And in the settings window, you'll see your local account here. And if you want to log in with your Microsoft account, you simply click on sign in with the Microsoft account instead and the login screen appears again. So I will type the Microsoft account username. I'll click next and the password. And I'll type the current password of the local account and I'll click next. Okay, if you go back in and look at your user account, you can see you have logged in as the Microsoft account. Okay, now if you want to create another local account, I will show you how to do that. Now each local account preserves the user settings and the internet browsing history. Now when you set up a local account, a Windows 10 will create separate folders of, for downloads, documents, pictures, music, and videos for each user account and only the account holder can open and edit the files in these special folders. So to create a local account, simply click on start and click on the user account icon on the left side and click on change account settings. And on the left side, click on family and other users. And on the right side, click on add someone else to this PC. And in the screen, how will this person sign in? Click on, I don't have the person sign in information. And in the create account screen, since we don't want to create a Microsoft account and we want to create a local account, click on this link, which says add a user without a Microsoft account. And in this screen where it says create an account for this PC under who is going to use this PC, type the username and type the password to make it secure. Retype the password and answer these security questions. And I'll click next. All right, so this is it. You just created another local account on your Windows 10 PC. Okay, so this is how you create Microsoft accounts and local accounts in Windows 10. I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching this video.